Many women with PCOS say they experience hypoglycemia. They ask why I'm concerned about insulin resistance and diabetes when their blood sugars are low. It turns out that it's not uncommon to see hypoglycemia occurring many years prior to the onset of diabetes. What happens is women with PCOS have a dysregulation of insulin secretion. That means that after a sugar load it takes too long for the insulin secretion to start and once the sugar levels in the bloodstream start dropping the insulin should drop but your body continues to secrete insulin longer than necessary and the blood sugars ultimately drop too low. Over time the pancreas loses beta cells that produce insulin. So when you get older you might find that you develop type 2 diabetes. In fact over a period of about two years up to 30 percent of women who do nothing to try and address their symptoms of insulin resistance will see a worsening of normal sugar to impaired glucose tolerance or impaired glucose tolerance progresses on to diabetes. So if you have hypoglycemia, the best way to deal with this is to make sure that you reduce the processed carbs in your diet, have smaller feedings spread out throughout the day rather than big carbohydrate rich meals. That and exercise, strength training exercise will reduce insulin resistance and stave off the possibility of diabetes. One study called the Diabetes Prevention Trial found that 60 to 70 percent of the cases of diabetes could be avoided by lifestyle and diet changes alone. So if you're troubled with hypoglycemia, ask your doctor what you can do to reduce the risk of diabetes in later life. You may want to make an appointment and consult with a dietitian who understands insulin resistance and work with a trainer to get on a good strength training program.